I greet you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King. It's a good day to be alive, especially with the advent of the COVID-19 that is prevailing in almost every country of the world. We thank the Lord for his mercy because it is because of his mercy or we are not consumed. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are not yet a Christian and you're feeling the pull of God uh, inviting you to come unto him, um, would you consider giving your heart to him today by confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart that Jesus Christ came, he died, and he rose again on the third day, and he's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you. And if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of them all. I, The word of encouragement comes to us from the book of Job, chapter 1. And for your reading, you can read from verse 1 to 10. But my focus will be on verse 1, verse 5, and verse 10. And we know the story of Job, that Job was one of the wealthiest men the Bible records. And oh, he lost everything. And I'm so glad today that God uses these men as an example for us so that we don't go through what they went through in order for us to be encouraged by their life. And in verse 1 it says, There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright, and one who feared God and eschewed evil or hated evil. In verse 5 it says, And it was so when the days of their fasting were gone about or came about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to to the number of them all. For Job said, It might be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. And in verse 10 now it says, Have you not made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. So there are a few things to note. And if you get the time, please read verse 1 to 10 and the entire book of Job. It will surely bless your heart. Um, in verse 1 to 10, we see uh, the, there's an introduction to this man called Job. And there are some keen things that we can learn about Job. Number one, Job was perfect in all his doing. That means in all his doing, all that he could do to please the Lord, he was perfect. He was an upright man, number two. And he walked in righteousness before God. Number three, he feared God or he had a reverential fear and awe of the awesome God that we serve. And number four, he estrueth evil. And the word estrueth means he hated evil. And it's continual because there's an E-T-H added to estrue. So he continually hated evil. In number five, now it tells us that Job was so perfect before God that he offered sacrifice unto God in case or per adventure his son sinned. So he is sacrificing, offering sacrifice unto God in advance in case they sin. And this with this now we can we can see where God honor what Job lifestyle was. Because God placed a divine protection around him from the enemy. And the thing is that this protection that is placed around Job, Job is not even aware of it. So God places protection around us that we can't even see, but the enemy sees it. Um, because the enemy now, when he was speaking to God, he was saying, haven't you placed 
a edge about Job, a edge about his house, a edge about all he has on every side, my God. Well, that means then that God has placed an edge around you. God has placed an edge around your house. And God has placed an edge about all that you have on every side. All the cars, the jobs, the, your, your children, your family. God has placed a protection, an edge of protection around them. God also placed a divine provision or blessing upon your life. The, the, the devil says the works of his hands is blessed. Number two, that his substance is increased in the land. So the devil knows that you have been divinely uh, blessed by the Almighty God. What lessons can we take away from this? First of all, we know that God is the one that blesses us and gives us increase. Number two, God has vested interest in those who walk uprightly before him. So if you are living in a sinful state, if you are walking um, in, in opposition to what God has instructed you, today I encourage you to get back to the mark. Because God has invested a vested interest in those who walk uprightly before him. God is also in control of the devil. So the devil does what he does with the permission of God. And he's limited to what God tells him or allows him to do. He's not his own devil he was created by God and is controlled by God. Number four, the devil knows what blessing is upon you as a believer. And guess what? He cannot do nothing about it. Number five, God will show off his servant to the, the devil. Because Job was perfect, because Job was upright, because Job feared God and his true evil, God saw Job to be a fit candidate to introduce him to the devil. Haven't you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man who fears God and is true it evil. My God, can God show you off to the devil today? Number six, God chooses what he wants to do with us without even our consent. Job wasn't aware of the conversation that was taking place behind the scenes be, uh, between the devil and God. And God was willing to do with Job's life, give the devil permission to do what God allows without Job's consent. My God, God knows who will pass the test. So when you have selected and you are going through trials and, uh, uh, and, 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 and temptation and you are going through struggles and suffering, and, and it seems like it's, it's not logical and, and, and you can't understand why you're going through it. Know this today, my brother and sister, that God sees you and knows that you will pass the test. So if you are going through the test right now, God is cheering you on. The final lesson in number eight that we can take away from this is that God trusts you to overcome every single trouble that the devil will throw you away. My God, the Lord will allow you to run through troops and jump over a wall. When the enemy comes in like a flood, oh God, God will lift up a standard against him. God trusts you to overcome. That's why he can expose you to the enemy to only do what he wills for you or allow for you to be done. Please consider acknowledging the supreme knowledge of God today and know that God knows you. God sees you 
and it doesn't matter what you're going through today, what you're facing, what your, your, your trials are, what your pain that you're facing is, what the sickness name is, God knows that you can go through it because it's not you that live, but it's the Christ that liveth in you. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And the greater in you can deliver you from every single problem that you may face today. So lift up the name of the Lord today and know that God is on your side. God sees you. God knows what you can go through and God is willing to expose you to the enemy to allow him to go thus far because he trusts you to overcome. May the Lord bless you and keep you today. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you today. May lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you peace in the name of Jesus. Father, touch every person that watches this video in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Walk good and holy before God.